the submarines we are acquiring, the single biggest leap in Australia's defence capability in our history, reflect our determination to live up to those expectations, to be a stronger partner and a more effective contributor to stability in our region. In boosting our nation's defence capability, Australia's goal is not to prepare for war, but to prevent it through deterrence and reassurance and building resilience in the region, doing our part to fulfil the shared responsibility all of us have to preserve peace and security, and making it crystal clear that when it comes to any unilateral attempt to change the status quo by force, be it in Taiwan, the South China Sea, the East China Sea or elsewhere, the risk of conflict will always far outweigh any potential reward. North Korea's extraordinarily reckless launch of ballistic missiles and Russia's reprehensible threats to use nuclear force underscore the ongoing necessity of cooperative action and global rules to drive disarmament. Multilateral forums also remind us of the opportunities we can grasp if we cooperate in everything from sustainable development to the global shift to clean energy. We have advocated strongly for the removal of any impediments to our trade, not just because Australian producers benefit from being able to export our high quality products and resources to our largest trading partner but because China also benefits from being able to import them. It's a win-win. And that's true on a broader level. China's extraordinary economic transformation has benefited its, not only its population, China's extraordinary economic transformation has also benefited our entire region. And that is important. But it's also been important for the region. It's been made possible by a regional architecture that facilitates fair trade, encourages the sharing of knowledge, spurs innovation and builds people-to-people -people connections through education and tourism and business and orderly migration. American leadership has been an indispensable part of this, but we have all played our part, creating a prevailing climate of peace and stability secured by sovereignty 